Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today, I am taking it back to my first love acrylic. I found this beautiful set from Savaland on Amazon. Um, I was really just looking for some new powders, but I didn't want to buy full sizes. And I had about three kits in my shopping cart before I decided to reel it back a little bit. And I got the one that um, I love the colors in the most. See, you just got a little instruction booklet. It gives you some little tips and tricks on acrylic application. There are 10 colors in this kit and they are, well, I keep saying kit, set, whatever you want to call it. But you see here, you get a nice mix. There are two like um, metallic glitter shades and then three fine glitter holographic shades and then two metallic and three just plain color. You can see the purple and the blue kind of marble a little bit, but that might have been me not mixing them up, like not shaking the jar before, but I think I did. But purples tend to marble anyway, so. And I will be testing out these acrylics using the Femi method, I'm using my favorite nails, the E-Nail Couture XXL Square. I just find that these are the best nails to fit my fingers. There's enough space in them to size them up and hold product and all of that. And I'm using my Mia Secret Clear Acrylic along with the matching monomer. Don't know what I was thinking about there. This glitter that I got from Glitter Planet UK. And then this is Confetti from Nail Supply Glamour. Or SoCal Nail. Sorry, no, SoCal Nails. And then this is just a holographic glitter from the craft store like Michael's or Hobby Lobby or something like that. And then my brushes, my Young Nails brush. I got this in the little acrylic starter kit. And then this McCart brush. I think it's like the aqua glitter or something like that, which I didn't even end up using this brush, I don't think. Okay, girl, we got it. Let's go. <laughs> and then this cute little brush holder. I think I got that off Shein. And then as my base gel, I'm just using this polish from Gelish. I don't remember the name. I'll link it somewhere. But here we go. So this is my first time doing this method with acrylic. So I figured that I would put the glitter in with the clear. So I'm just laying down some hearts and then I would go over that with the color. And what I quickly found out is that you definitely need to encapsulate the glitter in the clear before you lay your color down because I found that the color bled under the glitter and once you flip the nail over, the glitter was obscured. It kind of got drowned out in the color so you couldn't clearly see the shapes, which was Eh, you live and you learn. So on the um, subsequent nails, I definitely kept that in mind. And then once I have that nice fresh wet layer laid down, I just very gingerly place it onto the nail and then use a clean brush to kind of swipe anything that kind of seeps its way out. It doesn't take too long to set. And I actually love this because I have a tendency of putting my nails on crooked whenever I glue them or do the opre method or anything. There's always one or two nails that end up crooked. So I love that you have enough time to kind of straighten it out with that method. But you see on the second nail, I just did a kind of holographic glitter ombre. This is the pinky nail. I'm doing it to match the thumb. And I just do some of the violet glitter pieces with all of the blue in the background. See there. And you may have noticed that the quality changed. I had to film this on my phone because, girl, this camera makes me want to throw it against the wall. It is so irritating, but I am slowly learning how to finesse it and get it to work for me. But I just didn't feel like waiting that whole time for it to cool down. So I just pulled my phone out. And then the um, ring finger, I chose to do all clear. That was probably my favorite nail. 
because there was one kind of iridescent piece that was at the bottom that kind of gave me an idea for a set that I did after this but yeah that was my favorite nail so I kind of think I want to do an all clear set using this method. But I feel like this is kind of going to make me lazy because my acrylic sculpting already, I mean, I feel like it was getting better, but now with this, it's so easy that like, I think I'll have to force myself to do it the old way, but yeah, I can't lose my skills. <laughs> All right, and a closer look at the final nail. I think this purple was my favorite. It's got like a little bit of a blue to it. I think this was the purple metallic shade, but yeah, I love the way that looked. And of course, putting some of the pink, didn't really know what I was doing. I think I was trying to ombre it, but yeah, it didn't really end up looking like an ombre. It was more like a marble sort of situation. And then I'm just laying a fresh layer of that pink down to put it on. And I didn't do any glitter in this nail because I ended up deciding that I wanted to do a kind of jewel rhinestone design on this one. And there we go. And for the filing, I just take a, this is not a safety bit. It's kind of like a barrel bit. I think it's about medium coarse maybe and I'm just going along the cuticle and the sidewalls just on the natural like the nail bed portion just to kind of blend it a little bit and then I change to a sanding band just to smooth everything out and rough the surface so that the top coat will stick and then I kind of just take a little bit of bulk out of the or off of the tips a little bit just to kind of taper them in slightly and this um nail desk nail dust collector is actually from melody Susie. i got it off of amazon it wasn't that expensive i think maybe it was maybe 40 or 50 dollars something like that but it is so much better than the bag dust collector i was using and then for the fun part as always my mccart glue this little applicator situation. This was an impulse purchase at Hobby Lobby and honestly, a um, the little metal ball dotting tools, they do the same thing and you don't create trash because these are like one use unless you kind of clean them off. But I find that the little cloth part, the little ball at the end comes off when you try to clean them. So honestly, it's kind of a waste. Just use a dotting tool. Create less trash, people. But I decide to do just a color matching. I'm just doing some blue color rhinestones on the cuticle of this nail. And flipping over, I want to use these purple ones. And these will go onto the pointer finger. And I did try and go back onto AliExpress to find these rhinestones, but I couldn't find these exact ones. I think they might be an option under something else. Like I might have been digging for something and this just happened to be in the back somewhere. But yeah, I couldn't find these. But yeah, I'm pretty sure that's where I got them off of AliExpress. And into the fire all right and the jeweled nail this is kind of what I had in my mind 
because I've been thinking of trying to think of a way to use these. I think I got these off of Amazon and when I first got them, I didn't know what in the world I was going to do with them because they weren't really my vibe at the time. I've slowly gotten more into bigger, chunkier pieces of jewelry or stones, whatever you want to say. But yeah, I think maybe it was the colorway because they're kind of like a greenish purple. And I was just kind of like, what am I going to do with these? But I love the way they looked against these colors or the way it looked against these colors. And I just kind of used one of the little triangle ABs and then these iridescent. I think that bottom one is a heart. And I think those iridescent ones came off of, of course, AliExpress. Then just a couple of the circle rhinestones on the side there. like it needed a little something more so I add just a couple of these little silver metal ball bearing magnetic ball things just to the bottom here just to kind of give a little bit of definition around these iridescent pieces and the finished product I absolutely love the way these turned out I mean you can't go wrong with pink purple and blue throw some holographic iridescence in there and you're good to go I definitely learned a few things for the next time I try this, so it should come out even better the second time. Sabaland, thumbs up in my book. You guys go to Amazon and grab this set if you would like. It is less than $25 for 10 colors, 0.35 ounce jars. You can't beat it. If you enjoyed this video, then give me a like and subscribe if you're interested in more. And until next time, bye!